Good morning, friends. Erin here, filling in for Kristen on Vermont Gardening Adventures. And I thought I would give you a little update about what's been going on. So, we'll start in the greenhouse. Last night, Kristen started some spinach in these four inch pots. And a couple weeks ago, week and a half ago or so, I started lima beans, which are doing well. This is some patio cucumbers, container cucumbers. And this is some sunbeam squash, which we had seeds for. And I decided the germination time, not germination, yeah, germination to harvest time was within the span that we could grow them in the greenhouse. So I just decided what the heck. So we planted those. We have a couple broccoli, another broccoli, another broccoli. These are two different kinds of broccoli. This is the type of broccoli that my gardener recommended. And this is another one that we had. Some cauliflower. We have a extra in this pot. I'm not sure what happened. I'll have to pull one of those. And then the lettuce that Kristen's been growing. Outside on our little micro farm, <laughs> um, things are looking pretty good. Nothing is tipped over today, which is awesome. And somehow these squash and zucchini plants, which look like they are on their last leg, have new flowers on them. So maybe we're not done getting squash and zucchini. I suspect we planted these too close together. Oh, and there's a little bee in there doing his job. I suspect we planted these too far, too close together. And that in combination with all the rain we've had. Bye, Mr. Bee. Thank you. Oh, he's going to the next one. In combination with all the rain that we had, just makes them not look pretty. But the they're producing very well, so that's fine. Our pole beans are starting to flower. This is the first crop of pole, ble pole beans we planted. And this is some bush beans that have been here for quite some time, but somehow they are flowering again, so we'll leave them. And then there's the squash and zucchini. We have a lot of that because we like squash and zucchini. That, those tall peas are our second crop of peas. And these peas here are our third crop. And our second crop does have, let me see if I can find them, peas starting to come out. So that's nice. And over here we have, um, these are bush beans, but I can't remember what kind. Just bush beans, green beans. Our peppers, which seem to be doing really well. Kristen has done a great job out here. These are very late, but can you see that down there? Oops. We have a pepper, which these don't look like bell peppers. They look like a different shape, but that's okay. We will take what we can get, and there's lots of baby peppers. Again, another plant that has not done the best for us, but does, has produced quite a bit, are our cucumbers. We have market more something, I can't remember the number, and some um, Boston bush pickling cukes here, and there's another bee doing his job. I think it's the same one. Um, combination of rain and those gosh darn cucumber beetles just annihilated everything. So the plants look like crud, but they're still flowering. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Next up is our jungle o tomatoes. Got some nice ones back there. Great. They look great. Here's some of Kristen's romas that she grew from seed, starting to turn red. I think we'll probably be making our first small batch of sauce this week. When we get on the other side, we have one big boy tomato that's like this big. I'll show that to you. Here's another row of zucchini, which there are zucchini on there. Summer squash here. This one needs to be pulled. I'm not letting that sit on there. Let's see. And drop. That bee is just going to town. All right, here. This is more squash and zucchini. I don't see any fruit on it. This is more bush green beans. 
our carrots, which Kristen is itching to pull up. But Jill told her to wait until the first frost. These are the yellow beans. Um, some people call them yellow wax beans. That's our third crop of bush beans. Second crop, one of them, anyway. And then these are some more pole beans that we planted. Over here in the raised bed, we've been under attack from some sort of, sort of creature, which is unfortunate because our lettuce grows best in this bed, but it is what it is. These are our late romas, and by that I mean we planted them late because we didn't know if we were going to have space. But we did. We had space where we pulled out the broccoli and the kale. And some of these are not romas. We don't know what they are. You can see like those. Those are definitely not romas. So we just call them not romas. More romas here. And do you see? This is the big boy I'm telling you about. See how big that tomato is? Enormous. We are going to be inundated with tomatoes very soon, and that's a good problem to have. Continuing on in the tomato jungle. Gosh, is there anything better than a fresh, ripe tomato that you grew? I don't think so. Anyway, so these are some grape tomatoes, really large grape tomatoes. This is a petering out plant. <laughs> it's a poor sad, sad plant, but it has new growth. It started a new branch off the main branch actually yeah so and there's tomatoes on it so we'll see time and then we have all these are the these are also late tomatoes that's a not aroma not aroma we don't know what it is grape 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 but the grapes were planted early grape Grape. Oh, I'm starting to get my first red, massive grape, grape tomato. I'm looking forward to that. And then we're into the late romas. These were planted the same time we put the late romas in the ground. I was able to get a couple extra pots so that Kristen didn't have to lose her beloved tomatoes. She was very upset about it. So there's more tomatoes in there. That's a not aroma plant. And then romas, romas, grape, grape, so. That is how things are looking out in our garden. We do have a pot of lettuce on the deck, but I think we've eaten most of that. And we also have the remnants of a pot of dill because yesterday and the day before I made 36 pints of dill pickles. No, I made 30, 35 pints of dill pickles and one quart of dill pickle slices. So all the dill is gone pretty much. Um, so I guess that's all the pickles we'll have this year. Anyway, thanks for visiting with me today. I'm sure Kristen will be back in the next video. And until then, bye-bye and happy gardening.